Do you want to level up your health, wellness, and beauty routine? Are you looking for something that's new, different, and all natural? If so, you want to stay tuned to this video because today I'm going to talk all about castor oil. If you're new to my channel, thank you for watching. I'm Crystalline, and I am your proactive, conscious aging life coach. How's everyone doing today? I am joyful in the Lord and in the power of his might. Please, if you are new, don't forget to subscribe to my channel. Give this video a thumbs up, share it, make a lot of comments down in the comment section, and hit that notification bell so you can get my videos just as soon as I upload them. So now let's talk about castor oil. You know, everyone, I, I know I'm late to the ball game with this, but as I say, uh, better late than never. And I wanna give a special shout out to Jackie DIY because uh, a couple of days ago, she did post a video about castor oil and how it was helping her with her shoulder. And Jackie has a similar injury to me. I have two small tears in my rotator cuff and she talked about how she used her castor oil to get rid of the constant pain. And let me tell you something, if you've ever had any tears in your rotator cuff, uh, the pain that goes on is no joke, okay? Now, I've been to physical therapy for my rotator cuff injury, and, you know, it helped with mobility and everything, and I can do everything that I could before. It's even stronger because I've been lifting heavier. That's my arm, that is, and actually lifting heavier did help my rotator cuff. However, I am still subject to this kind of little chronic low-grade pain right there. And actually, it will radiate down to my elbow. So a few weeks ago, I did go to my orthopedic doctor and he gave me a prescription of naproxen 500 milligram tablets and he also gave me like a Z pack of steroids. Well, you got, you know guys, uh, <laughs> I just lost quite a bit of weight and I really wasn't thrilled to be taking any steroids. So I said, I'm gonna hold off on that. <laughs> I probably took one and the only reason why I took that one was because of the, um, contact dermatitis that I had on the back of my leg. And of course, that's a whole other story. You saw it in a previous video, but that's all cleared up and gone. Anyway, you know, the doctor tried to assure me, well, this is just a little short, one week course of steroids. And if you take it with the naproxen, you know, you're not gonna gain any weight, but you know, I'm so tired of using pharmaceutical drugs all the time. You know what I'm saying? So I just decided not to take it. And um, you know, we would let the cards fall as they may be. So after Jackie talked about um, the castor oil and how she used it on her shoulder, I said, you know what, I'm gonna try that. I've been seeing all kinds of videos all over YouTube, all over TikTok talking about the benefits of castor oil. So I said, well, it's about time that I found out for myself if it really works. So the other day I went and I got this castor oil. Actually, I had ordered it on amazon.com and it wasn't gonna come for a week. And I was really anxious to try the product. So what I did is I canceled that order and I went down the street to Whole Foods. You know how when, when the pandemic was going on, we just ordered everything off of Amazon because we couldn't get out of the house. I'm trying to get out of that habit. So I was glad that I did because I found it at Whole Foods and actually it was a couple of dollars less than on Amazon, which is great for your baby boomer beauty on a budget. I'm always looking for some kind of way to save money. So I got this one and this is the Heritage Store Organic Castor Oil. Let me talk about what castor oil is for a moment. Now, castor oil 
has been around and people have been using it practically since the dawn of time. It comes from the castor seed and inside that little seed, it has something called ricinoleic acid, ricinous communists, I'm reading, okay? And this ingredient, ricinous communists, is, it mimics the prostaglandins, which are physiologic lipids that are found in our bodies and they have hormone-like effects. That is one reason why they tell pregnant women not to use castor oil because it can actually induce labor. So if you're pregnant, don't use castor oil. You should be okay otherwise. But let me give you the disclaimer before I go any further. I am not the doctor. I'm not a nurse practitioner. I am not a medical professional. If you have any doubts in your mind about using castor oil, you should talk to your doctor first. Now, uh, let me just tell you a little bit more about castor oil. Some of you guys might be using it already. And if you are, please tell us what you're using it for and how it's worked for you. Put that in the comments. You know, I love the comment section because we can have a wonderful conversation about whatever it is that the video is about. And you know, before I forget, I told you that a new feature of my videos was going to be that whenever I got something new, I was going to post it in the next video. So this time, this week, my new thing is the castor oil. See how I just blended that together so seamlessly? Yes, indeed. So uh, let me tell you a few of the good things about castor oil. You might want to write it down or, you know, just listen very intently. Okay. It has many, many benefits. First of all, it has those emollient properties, okay? It's rich in monosaturated fatty acids. And if you've used castor oil before, you know that it is very, very thick and viscous. And let me just put a little bit, well, wait a minute, I'm gonna do it like this because I did transfer a little of my castor oil into this little brown bottle. And I'm gonna try to show you how thick it is um, as it comes out. See, it's not just pouring out of here. I have to actually push the bulb for the castor oil to come out. So it's very, very thick and viscous. And so it acts as a natural humectant if you use it on your skin and it reduces water loss and it functions really, really well as a moisturizer. Uh, if you're gonna use it on your face, you may wanna dilute it a little bit with a carrier oil, say like uh, coconut oil or some, you know, a little uh, oil that's not as thick as the castor oil because, you know, it's very, very occlusive. But the one thing that's good about that, if, for example, if you want to slug with this castor oil and you go out into the cold, you don't have anything to worry about because it's not going anywhere. So it has a very, very high emollient factor. It also has antioxidant properties, which we always want in anything that we eat or put on our bodies. We want antioxidants. It also has very high levels of vitamin E and the antioxidant properties in castor oil account for the protection of the skin against free radical changes and damage from sun and air pollutants. So this here, this is like a million dollar product right here in this one bottle. And I think this bottle that I'm using, it is 16 fluid ounces and it costed about $21.99 at Whole Foods. Now, some other good things about castor oil is that it reduces body inflammation and it can reduce skin ailments like eczema and psoriasis. Now, you know, uh, about a month or so ago, I had a terrible contact dermatitis and also the eczema on my lower legs and I found some things that worked really, really well. 
But you know, I could have used the organic castor oil too. I just didn't know about it. So now that I know if it happens again, I'll know what to use. Castor oil also has antiviral benefits. So for example, uh, you can use it on a ringworm, okay? I don't know if you know what ringworm is, but it's called tinea unguum, and it manifests with these little circles, you know, and it's an infection. So it's a little circle and it's kind of indented into your skin. Maybe you had it when you were a child. You might have come home one day and had a patch on your cheek or on your arms or legs. Well, you can use this to kill ringworm. You just put a little bit on the spot and rub it in and you know, it will go away. You can also use it for like fungus infections. You can use it for fungus infections on your nails or to toenails. You know, this bottle of organic castor oil has myriad benefits. Now, uh, some of the other common uses for castor oil that you probably have already heard about, I'm gonna tell you. First of all, you can use it to stimulate hair growth. And that makes sense, okay, because some of the pharmaceutical brands that you get by prescription, what they have in them are the prostaglandins that I mentioned. And since we have the ricinus communis inside this castor oil that mimics prostaglandin, it makes sure, I mean, it makes sense that it would stimulate your hair growth. Now, it also stimulates the hair growth of your eyebrows and your eyelashes. And I don't know if you can see it, but this brow right over here has a little hole right there. But of course I covered it up, so maybe you can't see it. But anyway, my eyebrows are always very thin because I have that scar running through there. But I said I was gonna try it anyway, just to see what would happen. They may, they may not get thicker this way, but they may get thicker that way, okay? So I'm trying it on my eyebrows. I'm also trying it on my eyelashes. A lot of people will, you know, take a little bit of their castor oil out, put it on a spoolie and actually put it at the base of their lashes and apply it that way. I used it for my lashes the first time last night and I actually just took my finger and rubbed it across my lash line like that and just let it stay on my eyes, okay? Um, another thing while we're talking about eyes, it also has been said to help sleep. So if you can take some castor oil and just dot it on your eyelids like that, rub it in. You know you don't wanna rub anything too hard on your eyelids, but you can just smooth it and that is said to help your sleep. Can you believe that? I'm just looking forward to all of these castor oil benefits. I wanna reap all the benefits, okay? So hair growth, also hair conditioning. Now this is another one, okay? I just got this bottle. I'm trying to think, what is this Thursday? I got it on Tuesday and I've been using it quite a bit ever since I got it. So with the hair conditioning, what I did yesterday is I gave myself a perm touch up and I also uh, colored my hair. And so I use the castor oil on my hair first, especially on the ends to con like a, a, a preconditioner so that when I put the relaxer on, it wouldn't be as harsh on my hair. So I, I mixed the castor oil and a little bit of cocoa, coconut butter oil, mixed it together, made a wonderful paste, just put it all over my hair. And don't you know, it worked really, really well. When I finished doing my hair yesterday, it was so soft and not only just soft, but shiny, manageable. So I will continue to use that castor oil as a conditioner in that way. And also uh, with the hair growth, I have traction alopecia on both sides of my temples right here from when I wear my hair back in a ponytail. And you know, I wear my hair a lot like that, especially, um, well, I won't say especially in the summertime, but yeah, especially when it gets warmer because I'm going to the gym uh, several times a week. Now, 
during the winter time, you know, I'm known to just throw on a wig and a hat and go to the gym like that. And the reason why is because it's cold outside, it's freezing in the gym. If I keep my head warm, then that helps warm up my whole body. But now that it's getting warm again outside, I've been wearing my ponytail. And so I have a little bit of traction alopecia. So I've been using my castor oil to help that hair grow. But now actually, this is the one that I've been using. I've been using this caffeine and castor oil. I got this one off Amazon. This is by Dyfeel and it's called Caffeine and Castor Premium Hair Oil. And you notice it's in the little dark bottle. So let me back up before I forget. When you wanna purchase some castor oil, make sure you purchase it in a glass bottle and it's a dark glass bottle like this because when castor oil is exposed too long to light, it will become rancid. Another few things I want to tell you about with the castor oil that you buy, you wanna make sure that it's hexene free, that it's organic, cold pressed, and some people even prefer extra virgin castor oil. Now, this one is not extra virgin. However, it does meet the rest of the criteria that was good for me. Now, if you happen to buy one that comes in a plastic bottle, you know, they have these kind of dark bottles, say like at most health food type stores, you can also order that kind of bottle off of Amazon and you can transfer your castor oil into a dark bottle if you don't have it. The other thing, I also take a little bit of the castor oil and I fill up this little glass bottle because I don't want to keep opening and closing this, you know, too many times, letting too much air in, letting too many germs in, whatever. So I keep these little dark glass bottles and I'm going to tell you where I get these from. Again, I'm your baby boomer beauty on a budget. Okay. So I keep things and this is an old serum bottle. So I think my vitamin C serum was in this one actually, because as you can see, it's dark and we always want to keep vitamin C in a dark bottle as well. So I just keep these little bottles. I have uh, hundreds of them upstairs and whatever I need them for, then I have them. So I keep that in there. Okay, hexene free, organic, coming in a glass bottle. And what else did I say? Something, <laughs> hexane free, okay. Uh, oh, cold pressed, I wanna remember that. So you wanna remember those things about the castor oil that you buy. Uh, let me see. Now, some other things that you can use this castor oil for. And you know, I want you to do a search on Google or any on YouTube, and you will find people using castor oil for everything. I'm just giving you a few things so that you can see how you can level up your beauty routine just by using something like this. It's so simple, it's so inexpensive, and it works according to everybody who uses it. It works. Now, there are not too many research studies on castor oil. I'm talking about hard scientific evidence-based research studies. However, the anecdotal evidence is off the charts, okay? And so I do trust and believe my fellow content creators uh, that they know what they're talking about because they used it. Some people use it for 30 days, 60 days, one year, and they come back and give the results. So if you wanna see for yourself all the myriad benefits, do a search and you can. So in the meantime, you can also use castor oil for softening and reducing scars and stretch marks. And you know, if you had a baby or just gained a whole lot of weight, you always, we're always looking for something to reduce scars and stretch marks. Mm. I just get excited. I have to drink my water because I am really excited about this new product that I have been using just for a couple of days. Now, you can use this 
for liver detoxification, okay? Uh, it helps your immune function. It reduces menstrual cramps. Now, a lot of people have talked about the very positive benefits and how they use this for their menstrual cramps, and it reduced the cramps to you know practically nothing. Okay, you can also use it for weight loss, and you can also use it in your belly button. And so, what's going on with the belly button use is that. Did you know that even though our umbilicus is clipped when we're babies, that umbilicus still has about 72,000 veins and nerves that are connected to the central nervous system. And when you put the castor oil in your belly button, it will distribute throughout your body and benefit it in many, many ways. So I'm also trying that one. Okay, I said uh, for your moisturizer, you can also use it up under your eyes and that is supposed to help with darkness and uh, reducing puffiness. It's also said that the castor oil will help to reduce any kind of darkness or discolorations on your face. So, I mean, you know, you can't go wrong with it. Now, another thing that you can use your castor oil for is to moisturize your nail beds and will help strengthen your nails and to um, moisturize your cuticles. What does this stuff not do, okay? So let me talk to you about how I'm gonna be using my castor oil. So for the first thing is I am using it for my torn rotator cuff right here because I just don't wanna take excuse me, the, the steroids, and I was just so excited. As a matter of fact, I wore pink blouse, which is Jackie's favorite color. I wore this blouse in honor of Jackie because she got on that video and she talked about, I think she said she put her castor oil on in like the next day because she had a very limited range of motion with her shoulder. She, she put the castor oil and the next day she was able to go up with her arm when she could hardly move it the day before. So I'm, I'm really counting on this. So I have been using it on my shoulder for the last two nights. And let me show you what I did, okay? Because I had actually, excuse me, I had actually bought this shoulder castor oil pack from Amazon, but I was really disappointed with it. And I'll tell you why. It's because whatever this fabric is on the outside is kind of uh, hard. I don't really like it. It's kind of stiff. And on the inside, it's not very fluffy. I can put it that way. I mean, you know, it's just thin. So it wasn't really what I expected. And also when I tried to put it on the way they had it on in the picture, it just wasn't going. You know, as a matter of fact, I can show you the straps are on backwards, okay? The strap, this strap here, it should actually be sewed onto that side. So I'm sending this one back and I said, well, I'm gonna have to, uh, like Jackie said, do it myself. And so I made my own castor oil pack sleeve and let me show you what it looks like. I made this castor oil pack sleeve from an old t-shirt that was long sleeved and I put my castor oil on underneath here and I put the seams on the outside so that wouldn't irritate my skin. And I like this a lot better than the one that I had ordered from Amazon because that one was not comfortable. This one fits my arm and my neck exactly. So it doesn't cost a lot to do this. You just have to use your imagination. To keep the sleeve on, I put on this old cotton pajama top and actually it's one of my favorites. You can see the little uh, cardinals. I love cardinals. But anyway, it's an old pajama top and it holds that castor oil pack sleeve right on my shoulder and my arm and it's washable so I don't have to worry about getting 
the castor oil on here and it is wonderful for this use so this is how i'm going to keep my pack on and i'm just going to relax with this on for about one hour this is how i prepare my area for when i'm going to relax with my castor oil pack i have my heating pad underneath and I put this little potty pad on top just to make sure that the castor oil doesn't bleed through onto this cover that's on the heating pad. So yeah, I just um, cut the sleeve and put the pajama top over it and I lay on my heating pad and just kind of wrap it over my shoulder and stay like that for about at least one hour. Uh, I stayed, I had it on for about two hours last night, but it feels so good. And the thing about it is what I thought is that after I wanted to change out of that gear, I thought my arm would be real oily and everything, but actually the castor oil just soaked right into my arm. I didn't have to towel it off or anything. So I really like that. Now, some people have a problem with the way the castor oil smells. I really don't, okay? But if you do, you can also add some essential oil to it. You don't want to water it down too much. This one, for example, is 100% pure grapefruit oil. That glare is always there. But anyway, this one is by Now Essential Oils. You can add essential oil, you know, inside your little bottle if you want to, or you can put it like a few drops in a Dixie cup or however much you're going to use on any area that you're going to use. You can put it in a little Dixie cup and add your essential oil. I like this one. I like the grapefruit oil. I also like the lavender because that's going to be good for sleeping. And I also like this eucalyptus oil. So you want to be careful. Just add a couple of drops just to make the castor oil smell better and you'll be glad that you did. So I didn't like the shoulder pack that I got from Amazon. I made my own. Now, another thing that I did order that I am gonna keep are these little organic cotton flannel pieces. And let me show you what it looks like. I do like these. And this is, is very soft, is very thick. And what I'm gonna do with this is I'm gonna make a pack out of it for when I wanna do my cleanse. Let me show you. I right, get up like that a little bit. All right, and if you're gonna do a liver cleanse, you're gonna put the castor oil on the pack and then you're gonna wrap it. Now, some people say that they wrap theirs with um, like saran wrap. I don't want to do that because you know my, my my skin is so sensitive to uh heat or anything that's on it i'm prone to getting any kind of rash which i don't want to be bothered with if i don't have to so what i plan to do with mine is i'm just gonna sew some elastic on it and i'm going to use that as to wrap this pack around this area as I want to use it. You can also use this on any of your joints that you're having pain with, your elbow, your knee, your feet, just all over the body. And the other thing about my torn uh, rotator cuff is I also have a small amount of arthritis in this shoulder. So it's good for joint pain. And that's what I'm starting out primarily using it for. Now I did start this on Tuesday night and I'm gonna give it 30 days. I'm gonna use it every night for 30 days and then after 30 days I'm gonna come back and give you guys the results. So let me look at the calendar. Uh, Tuesday was March 5th and so April 5th I'll come back and give you the results and let you know how that helped 
my rotator cuff pain. Also, I'll let you know how it helps my eyebrows and uh, <laughs> my thin spots right there, that traction alopecia. Uh, I'm, you know, and I'm gonna tell you something unusual, okay, that I heard and saw about castor oil is that you can actually put it in your eye if you have dry eyes. Now, I can tell you that's one that I'm not gonna be doing, but it was, you know, I seen many, many videos that actually recommended that. So um, that's another thing you can ask your doctor about, how you can use it inside your eyes for dry eye. They even say that castor oil helps get rid of floaters inside of your eyes. Now, I don't know if you know what floaters are, but what my doctor, my eye doctor explained to me is a couple of years ago, I noticed that I was getting these little hair-like things. It looked like you have a hair in your eye and you really don't. What she explained to me is that inside your eye, I believe it was called the vis vitreous humors, that that uh, liquid starts to dissipate with age. And yeah, at that time I was maybe 60 or 61 years old and I went to her because I saw these things floating around in my eye, it's just this one, and I wanted to make sure I wasn't going blind or something. She said, don't worry about it. It's just a lack of moisture um, that you don't have in your eyes anymore. And as time goes by, actually, it kind of goes away because you're not paying attention to it anymore. So, you know, if I get the nerve up, <laughs> I might try it in this eye just to see what would happen. So when I try that, I'm gonna let you know. Now, one other big thing that I'm gonna use my castor oil for, um, you know, probably starting tomorrow is I'm gonna do my spring detox. And so I'm gonna take the castor oil internally because that is one thing that I forgot to mention almost is that a lot of people use castor oil as a nice laxative. And in fact, our grandmothers swore by this and gave their kids castor oil maybe once a week to make sure that their bowel movements were regular. So I'm gonna do the castor oil cleanse detox and let me just be, you know, specify what I'm referring to. When I say cleanse, in other words, I'm gonna give my body a few days off of eating and I'm going to juice. I'm making a follow-up video for you guys showing you the juices that I'm gonna be using and how you can make them yourself at home. So I'm gonna start out with the castor oil and I'm gonna have you know a lot of uh, cleansing in my intestines. And then after that, after I feel like I'm thoroughly cleansed, I'm going to drink the juices that I make for a few days. Now, this is in no way a fast because fast means to not eat, not to take in any nutrition, which is not what I'm gonna be doing. The juice, you're not eating it or chewing it, but it's you're still taking in nutrition. So I'm just trying to, you know, detox for the spring. I didn't do it during the winter because I was already on, <laughs> on a real weight loss uh, journey and I did lose about 23 pounds. Good for me, right? <laughs> And so I just didn't do it. But now that it's springtime, I just wanted to, you know, just cleanse. Actually, in my home, I've been cleaning everything. I've been organizing everything. And I just felt like, you know, I, I wanted to extend that to my own person, uh, my own body. So I'm going to be doing that. And I'm going to start that tomorrow, uh, which is March 8th. And I'll give you an update on that, you know, way sooner than 30 days. I'll let you know how I'm doing with the detox or how I've done with the detox. It's only going to be maybe four, you know, maximum five days. But usually when I do that, I feel so much better, more energy. I feel cleaned out. And I also feel a lot of inflammation go out of my body. So I'm looking forward to doing that. You know, so 
These are the things that I'm using my castor oil from. I'm using, again, this Heritage Store brand. You can get it off Amazon or you can get it from Whole Foods. Another good one that I heard was the Queen of Thrones castor oil. That one is a little bit more expensive, but you may want to try it. It just depends. And again, like I said, you know, be, you know, be creative. You don't have to spend a whole lot of money, you know, buying a castor oil pack because you can make your own as I showed you. Now, a lot of people, when they are gonna use their castor oil packs, they actually fill up a steel bowl and they just dip this whole thing in there. But what I prefer to do is to slather it onto my skin and then put the castor oil patch, or should I say my sleeve over that. And I like doing it that way. Um, many, many ways to do your castor oil packs and many, many ways to use your castor oil. If you have been using it and you'd like to share what you've been using it for and your results, please put those down in the comments section. Look for my second part of this video series regarding castor oil and that is the juicing for the spring detox with castor oil, how to make that juice. And I hope you have enjoyed this video and learned a little something, something. I can't wait to come back uh, to you next month and tell you all about my results. Thanks for watching everybody. God bless you and I'll see you next time. Mm -hmm.